Hello Becca, this is Mr. Resenti. In this series of videos, I'm going to take you through the basics of logging into your Becca Gmail account, accessing your Google Classrooms, and uh, attending your online virtual lessons. In this very first video, we're going to show you the absolute basics of how to sign into your Becca Gmail account, which is the most important step from your home. So to start off with, um, you can do this uh, on any computer or if you are on a mobile device, such as a tablet or a phone, it's actually better to download the apps, the Gmail app, the Google Classroom app, the Google Docs app, um, and all the other various apps out there. But for this purpose, I'm going to show you how to access via a website. So to start off with, I want to log in, um, and I can do this via a number of means. Um, you can start with Google.com, if that's the easiest for you. Or you can go to websites like gmail.com or directly into other websites like Google Classroom. So classroom.google.com. In this case, let's start off simple. So we're starting off on google.com, the search engine. In the top right-hand corner, you'll see this opportunity here to sign in. So I'm going to click that button to sign in. I'll then be presented with a field here to enter my BACA Gmail address. Now for you, it's the same as the login you used to access the computers at BACA, plus at BACA-UK.co.uk. So it's going to look something like this. In this case, my student account is 20-T-O-M-M at baca uk dot co dot uk i'm going to click next to sign in and then enter my password after i've entered my password i'll click next and there we have it i'm signed in and that's the crucial first step no matter how you sign in or on what website you sign in being signed into your back a gmail account is really, really important. And you can see here in the top right that T denotes that I'm signed in. So my name, of course, being Tom. So now I want to access my Gmail. Well, you'll see just to the left, there's a link that says Gmail. You could type in www.gmail.com or you can use the Google Apps icon here just to the left of your uh, first initial there. So I'll click that and I have access to all of the apps that I would be using for my school account. So my Gmail, my Google Drive, Classroom, Google Docs, Sheet Slides, Calendar, which we'll discuss in another video, and Google Meet. Those are the most important ones that you'll be using. So right now, let's just go into Gmail. So I can click that and it will take me directly into my Gmail account. This is a brand new account, so you can see um, I don't have any many emails, I should say, but all of the emails from your teachers um, will be in this here. So you'll see your Google Calendar invitations, maybe emails from your teacher or your tutor, any messages. You'll be shared the, the back of buzz and other announcements and things in your Gmail. So you'll be able to access your Gmail on your computer or on a tablet or on a, on a mobile device. So as long as you have the app for your mobile device, your tablet, you'll be able to enter your backup account details and access it there. I highly recommend though that you access via computer. It just makes your life a little bit easier.